Ladies and gentlemen, it is leprechaun season, baby. Hopefully the green will bring us some good luck. Now, I'm sure you will notice that AMC is going up today, up 5.5% at the time of this recording. And you'll also notice that we have had one of the strongest rallies we have had in the last four or five months in the past week or really the past two weeks. Now, we did report about this probe that does involve liquidity providers as well as Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. So we're going to build off of the last video and I want to talk to you guys about how potentially AMC could be free to rally without as much corruption or manipulation going on with the stock. I think you guys will find a lot of value out of this. I went over this on the live stream last night partly. We're going to also obviously build on that if you guys were on the live stream last night, but you guys wanted a video about that. So that that's what we're going to get into here in this video, as well as go over the intraday data that you need to know. So if you guys are new to the channel, my name is TCI. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, as well as make sure to comment down below. Does this make sense? I think it makes a whole lot of sense once you hear it. So let me know if it does or doesn't down below in the comment section. Get some free stock. Get yourself some free money using Weeble, Moomoo, and Public down below in the description. As well as if you guys want access to all my trades in real time, check out that pinned comment down below. We hit the space calls. Yes, we bought weekly space calls yesterday as well as the March space calls that are up in between 1,000 and 150% today so check that out but let's get into this video so like i said amc is up today and we're finally getting some breathing room here now nothing has really happened too substantial i mean we've had bigger catalysts in the past right I'm, uh, crypto popcorn all of that was much bigger catalyst than what we have had recently so keep that in mind but we know this probe started going on, right? It says regulators probe block trading at Morgan Stanley, Goldman, and other Wall Street firms. If you guys are unaware, block trading can happen on the dark pools and on the lit exchanges. And essentially, it moves the markets up or down a lot. So there's a lot of front running that the liquidity providers are doing. If you guys want the full thesis and the full, you know, uh, update on what is going on with this, check out the last video. But essentially, it's those two banks as well as some of the funds that receive subpoenas act as liquidity providers to wall street firms according to some of the people so this is not necessarily even being reported by a government agency yet or exactly what is going on this is somebody that leaked this information now if we take a look at the new york stock exchange it says supplemental liquidity providers that's this right here slp uh and essentially slps must maintain a bid or offer at the national best bid or offer nbbo in each assigned security at least 10 percent of the trading day slps trade only for their proprietary accounts not for public customers or, or on an on or on an agency basis excuse me so SLPs trade for themselves and they pro provide liquidity to certain securities. Whereas the MLMs, as you guys can see right here, an SLP can either be a proprietary trading unit or a member organization, SLP prop, or a registered market maker at the exchange. That is SLMM. There is only three registered market makers number one being citadel securities number two goldman sachs and three virtue americas and like i said they're not going to come out and say uh C citadel virtue all the market makers are corrupt and they've been costing you a shit ton of money over the years right they're not going to come out and say that to the public but somebody's leaking this information and they say liquidity provider. So it's obviously all three of these guys, right? So Citadel is under official investigation. Wait for the headlines to come out. I'll just tell you right now, they're under investigation. Now, keep in mind, this came out yesterday. Last night, this article came out. But if this is coming out, uh, yesterday, then this has actually been happening at least for the last week or so, at least, if not longer than that. And what has happened to AMC stock after the past week? It is went on a massive rally from 1340 all the way up to $21 per share. Now, why is this happening? Why is this happening? 
because there's not as much manipulation that is happening now that people are actually looking at their books. They have to calm down on all the manipulation. So now we really get to see you know what our buys are doing for the stock it's not like you're seeing all of them going to the dark pools now you're seeing more of a free market happening on amc and why i'm really saying this and why i'm making this claim is because i have been watching the order flow sediment for really the past three months and almost every single day besides the last week around where this pro must have officially started you've seen very negative order flows super super bad like zero percent to ten percent positive on any given day so like 90 percent negative orders right because they were taking advantage it was easy money the market makers the banks they were assuring that if you made option trades and bought puts on amc you were going to make money right as we do know stock has pretty much only went down now since about the past week and i've been reporting this to you guys the option flow has turned incredibly bullish incredibly bullish why because this probe has made it so the market makers and the banks can no longer take advantage of amc the same way they could because if you have a constant stream of two to four million retail investors that are buying stocks even taking a couple pennies off each share each order you're making hundreds of millions of dollars right so now you're seeing that is no longer the case. And that's why you're seeing the option flow sediment so bullish over the past week. Nothing has changed. The manipulation has stopped to a certain degree. I'm sure it goes on between hedge funds and hedge funds. But the bigger picture here, the manipulation, in my opinion, is kind of stopping. Now, for the day, you're seeing a positive order value of 94%. Two orders totaling $515.88,000. Over the past week, 54% positive order value, 160 orders totaling $80.36 million. Those are numbers that we have not seen uh, in a very, very long time. Like I said, I've been watching this for a long time, and it is only finally starting to go more on the bullish side than on the bearish side. Over the past week, 54%. So that is considered bullish because that is over 50%. So... It, it, it seems like these things are lining up at the same times and we can kind of put the dots together and say, hey, now our orders might actually be going to the lit exchanges. You might be seeing a little bit less corruption and manipulation. And now we are getting even closer to the MOAS. But what I also want to point out is that the stock market needs to come down. Short sellers, they're not going to cover on their short positions unless they are forced to cover. That's why you're not seeing the short interest going down. It's at 21.3% still at pretty much record highs. And on the sediment date, January 31st, that came out February 9th, the short interest was confirmed at 21.01%. Cost to borrow max, 2.32%. Current shares that are sold short of 109.29 million. Utilization at 100%. And the days cover at 2.5, which that also does make sense as far as the utilization because if you now know, if you're a hedge fund and you know this probe is going on and the market makers, the liquidity providers and the banks can no longer help keep that stock down, then you're not going to lend it out, like I said, for 2 to 4% when now you can let the bullishness of the open markets buy AMC and send the stock up. You're not going to lend out your stock for 2 to 4%. The gig is over you're not going to do that think about this logically it, it, it's not rocket science i'm not uh stretching the imagination here you're not going to lend out your stock for two to four percent if you can get five percent like today or 15 or 10 percent every single day over the past week or so now that the gig is over you're not going to lend out your stock for cheap so that's why the utilization is 100%. And that's the data that you guys need to know. Days to cover at 2.50. And I think this makes a lot of sense. So like I said, let me know down below in the comment section if it does or if it does not. I think it all weirdly aligns up perfectly. Now, as far as the max pain, that's sitting at $19 by Friday. And the Stonko Tracker data, we do have 31,000 calls that are in the money, 262,000 calls that are out of the money, 37,000 puts that are in the money, and 105,000 puts that are out of the money. So that is a substantial amount of buying power that could happen if the stock does continue to rally throughout the rest of the week. I might look at call options. I might not. I might just buy more stock in this scenario. 
I think you're kind of getting a green light uh, to buy more shares if you have not already. That is obviously not financial advice. Don't go gambling everything. I know I say, you know, I might do this, I might do that. People jump into it and then wonder why they're down money. If you guys want access to all of my trades in real time, you know when I get in, get out. Check that link out down below in the pinned comment. But other than that, do or just in general, don't copy my trades. So that's really what you guys need to know a maximum amount of shares if all of these calls go from out of the money into the money is about 26.2 million shares that would have to be bought by the market makers that would substantially send the stock up and you might start to see more of these options be able to go into the money because this this whole gig between the market makers and the banks is now over or coming to an end right now now they might not be able to keep the stock artificially down once we get to these large expiration dates so that's also something that i will be paying very very close attention to as far as the ukraine news situation there was news that russia is scaling back some of their troops not sure an exact number they still have plenty they would need to invade but this is really along russia's playbook right they, they, they did this in world war ii they told america the british the french well uh, kind of the French at the time they weren't much of anything but they told they told those guys they didn't want Berlin they didn't even care whole time they were sending their two generals to race to Berlin so they were essentially lying so they ultimately got to Berlin first and took the city so it's really in Russia's playbook I'm starting to think it's all bullshit because of that Facebook post Zelensky the Ukrainian president said basically being sarcastic and said the invasion is going to be on Wednesday and he's calling for a day of unity I guess he was being sarcastic uh, not really something I think you'd be sarcastic about so I kind of think it's all bullshit they're probably working together Ukraine and Russia who knows that situation not really falling for it at this current moment and the markets they are rebounding off of this news up quite substantially today about 1.5% on the S&P, 2% on the NASDAQ, Russell 2000 up about 2%, and the Dow up about 1.21%. So keep that in mind. That's really the big news. We do have Mitch McConnell that is meeting with Jerome Powell later today to discuss inflation. I'm not sure. I, I would doubt if anything comes out about that, but we do have the FOMC minutes that come out tomorrow around 4 p.m. So that's going to be the next big news catalyst. And we have not heard anything about that emergency meeting. We might get that on the FOMC minutes tomorrow, but only time will tell as far as Mitch McConnell as well. Also, only time will tell. Now, a quick look at the technicals because I called this out in yesterday's video and this is what I wanted to see, right? So this is only simply basic technicals right here. We started rallying from this low point down here, about $14 all the way up to about $21. But on this second leg up, right, the second day of the rally, we went up, we come down, we touched $17.80 per share, bottomed out intraday, rallied, and then into close or, or into to open pre-market right here february 10th that's the low that we hit we went up came down but did not retest 1780 and we have remained above that ever since we did touch that yesterday but we did close after hours above that so i wanted to see if we would remain above that today as well and it looks like that is happening and amc is starting to skyrocket today up 6.25 percent so that is looking very bullish to my, in my personal opinion and i think we could make that move to about 21 dollars here shortly i might make a trade on it i might not if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time check that out like i said pin down below in the pin comment that is pretty much all you guys need to know we will be back later on today at about 4 p.m with the wrap up for the day and everything else that you guys need to know so hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel as well as make sure to comment down below get yourself some free money weeble moo moo and public they all give out great free stocks i can vouch for that personally so check that out if you guys have not already thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.